Hello everyone, welcome back to Helldivers 2. Let's ignore for the moment that this solo is run on a snow-covered planet, and just come right out and say that Hell has officially frozen over. And by that, I mean that I took a run at a solo automaton Helldive. This one is a sabotage airbase mission. Now, I should note, I fucking hate the automatons. They're so ridiculous. Ridiculously overpowered compared to the Terminids that I never want to play them. If it's not related to the daily, I'm not doing it. When you can solo a Terminid Helldive, but get the ever-loving shit kicked out of a four-man team on an extreme mission against the bots, that's a problem. So, missions like this one, which are specific to the bots, I just don't have enough experience with to be able to do them efficiently. Yet. In either case, here we go. It's time once again to spread that sweet, sweet liberty, one bullet at a time. Let's play some Helldivers. For gear, I'm running my go-to Trailblazer Scout Armor for reduced enemy detection and increased run speed and stamina. My primary is the Eruptor Explosive Sniper Rifle, which came out with the recent Democratic Detonation Warbond. This gun is the first functional sniper rifle they've put out for this game. The rest all feel like long-range pea shooters that are essentially useless, but the Eruptor is actually pretty solid and really versatile with, in terms of what you can do with it while you're on mission. I'm also using the Grenade Pistol and the Thermite Grenades, also from Democratic Detonation. Pistol is alright, I mean, it's it's got its uses, but I am enjoying the thermite grenades. For stratagems, I'm using my jump pack, as always, uh, the quasar cannon, and the auto cannon sentry. And if I was able to use a force stratagem, it would either be the gatling sentry or the eagle airstrike. I should also note while we get started on this that, like my other solo, um, there's a lot of running in this, and it's actually worse than this one because it's not so much running as it is army crawling through the snow across large sections of the map. So, like the last video, anytime I'm not actively participating in combat or doing something objective related where it's just me running away or running around or crawling around, I'm going to be speeding all of that up substantially. Do it, you can do it, get out of the way. Oh shit, alright. Come up and get moving. This would have been a good time to toss out some of those thermite grenades to get a little burn damage and maybe kill a few of those guys, but in the time it would have taken me to turn around and throw them, I would have been gunned down, so I just keep moving. Not really sure what it was that did that. I'm guessing a Hulk ran into whatever objective needed to be destroyed there and did it for me, so. That guy's my VIP. want to make sure I'm clear before I try taking a shot at anything in here. I don't want to draw aggro on top of aggro that I've already got. Shit. I definitely don't want to aggro the tank if I can help it, so I'm going to try just backing up and staying out of line of sight. And hopefully it will pass right by me. Looks like I might be good. It's on its way. I might have been able to blow up that hell bomb that was up there on the mountainside to, to kill it, but I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to keep moving. Nope, I either missed where I needed to hit for the one-shot explosion on those, or I was just wrong and they take more than one hit. Either way... Need to move about a little bit to lose any aggro I just got from that shot. 
And I'll drop this bot factory while I'm on the way. I'm going to drop a, um, any bot factories I get a chance to drop just to minimize the amount of ads that spawn while I have aggro and while I'm repositioning. Out of stims, so I'll call in a resupply and just kind of hang out and wait for it to drop. Guy's getting close. He probably heard that. All right. Don't want to piss off the big guys over there. And the dropship just dropped a hulk in the distance there. Really didn't want to have to move too much with those guys right there, right near that rock, but I'm getting fired on. Yeah, that walker did see the resupply come down, and I did pull aggro. Not today. Get a little bit of distance, get my auto cannon out. There we go. See if I can get that bot factory from over here. Yes! Quasar cannon for the win. Try and take out this bot factory while I'm here, but I need to get good line of sight. Might have been able to do it from that vantage, but I was too worried that I was going to be too far to the side, so I'm going to try and relocate just a bit. Here we go. Excellent. Three enemies in the distance there. Kind of get the feeling that they know where... Yeah, that guy definitely knows where I am. He's on the move. There we go. Two down. Might be able to just avoid the third one entirely, so I'm going to get on the move again. See if I can get back on track for my objectives. The walker right there. Another walker. Yeah, that's that side objective that I just passed that needs the hell bomb to destroy the building. I'm not even going to bother worrying about that. Against bugs, I would just jump pack up to the roof of the building and call the hell bomb down on top of it, set it off and get out of dodge. But against the bots, it's just too dangerous. Got another bot factory here. There we go. It should be noted that that can also be done with the, the Eruptor Explosive Sniper Rifle, but that doesn't have the range that the Quasar Cannon's got because you're shooting a grenade at a certain point, it's just going to blow up even if it hasn't hit the target. So when shots are a little too far out, I just use the Quasar Cannon for good measure. Close, got a mountain in the way though. A few enemies just north of me. I'm gonna try and avoid them and make my way closer. Now the the good thing about this particular mission is that the the planes that you've gotta destroy, the aircraft, whatever 
they happen to actually be called. You can do it at a distance with the quasar cannon, so you don't have to get up in there and aggro everything. As soon as you see them, you can take shots at them, and if you hit them either in the right location or enough times, they're, they're gone. There we go. I'm not even going to bother with the rest of the stuff in there. I'm just going to retreat and start heading over to the next one. Still got a ways to go before I get there. That looks like it there in the distance. Maybe I can get it from out here. Get a better lay of the land. I'm not going to take the shot with the sniper rifle. I'm just using it to, to get a better sight. There we go. Looks like that one hit. Didn't finish the objective, so I'm guessing there's a bot factory or something in there that I'm going to need to drop. Good time for a resupply. I'm out of stems again. I'll do a little bit more recon while I wait for that to drop, fill up on stems, and then get a move on. Let's see what it is that I need there. Yeah, there's a bot factory back there. All right, let's see if we can get a good vantage on it. That was just dumb. We don't have to talk about that. Because in a minute, I'm going to do something even dumber than that. Let's kill this guy. Make sure I'm totally safe. Let's walk this way and not pay attention to the ground. And run into a mine. Yeah, that was not so great. On the plus side, I'm going to land right next to my corpse. And pick my stuff up like nothing happened. So when I file the official report, I mean, we don't need to mention that guy, so... There we go. So it wasn't the bot factory, there was a second ship there that I needed to deal with. Mission progress logged. Tagging map. Northeast. Far. One shot from the Quasar Cannon, followed up with the Eruptor, should be enough to deal with this. There we go. That combo is really consistent, um, but range, like I mentioned before, with the Eruptor is going to be an issue, so you want to make sure you're not too far out, and that was probably right about on the edge of where it was going to work from. I think this is just in the way of me getting to my objective, but I'll drop the bot factory if I can. And now it looks like I missed, but again, this is just in the way of me getting the objective, so I'm just going to keep moving.
three guys. I'm going to try and get rid of these before I make my way into the objective area. One, one more, one more. There we go. So this upcoming part is going to be where I really, really shine and it becomes blaringly evident that I don't have enough experience with the bots. Now, this snowstorm that's coming in right now is going to obscure everything and make it real easy for me to move around the base, but it's going to take me a minute or two to realize that that's the case. But once I do, I, I start moving around a little bit more freely. I drop more of the enemies to clear out the base. Then I realize I don't know where to take the SSD hard drive and burn nearly seven minutes of just running around. One, because I was trying to find the thing that I needed to put the hard drive in. But two, since I wasted time by not installing the hard drive immediately, more enemies came and I had to clear them out so that it was safe for me to look around to find out where to put this damn thing. Another bot factory, so get that out of the way. Corruptor does the job just fine. That guy's got to go. When you're aiming around objects like that with the Eruptor, you want to make sure you've got some good leeway between your sights and the object you're aiming around because the splash damage on the Eruptor is pretty big. And if you're not careful, you're going to hit the object even though you're not technically aiming at it because it's just close enough that the, the sight's off. And then you're going to end up knocking the, the shit out of yourself. Where is that going? Oh, Alright. See if we can get a good line of sight on him. Oh, oh, oh. So here's the terminal. That's me not noticing that the the tiny little box that I have to put the hard drive into was right next to it. And this is the beginning of my wasting almost seven minutes of mission time. All of this is going to be sped up even though it's fighting because, yeah, it's, it's seven minutes of nonsense. It's ridiculous. Reload the gun. You can do it. There we go. See that? That walker wasn't particularly close to me, and I still got hit by the splash damage from the Eruptor. There we go. You gotta go. Once I can get my turret out, things are gonna smooth out a little bit, but it's just not ready right now. Seriously, aim. There we go. A grenade pistol to the rescue right there. Resupply. Oh, never mind. I'm probably not gonna get a chance to get that resupply. What the hell was that? Wasn't that dude, that's for sure. Got a walker on the lower section to the right over there. And another group of enemies coming up the hill. Alright. Auto cannon is out. So I should be good once I deal with any big enemies that are here. The auto cannon should Oh, maybe not. Right, what do we got? Are we clear? Bad guy, throw the hot potato right there. Oh, that's a Hulk. Shit. I still have an auto cannon. Is it still there? Oh, it's still there. It's still there. Do your job. This is risky. So I was too far away to hit that turret with the, the Eruptor for the follow-up shot, so I had to switch and try and bring the Quasar in. And, uh, that was too late, too. Shit. Gonna have a new group of enemies coming in. Alright, I 
Let's go. Throw out some grenades. Nice. Is that it? Oh, there's another one. Shit. So I'm bringing out the SSD now just to get it out on the field. In the time that it took me to run around and waste all of this, I was talking to, to my buddies in the party chat, asking them about this particular mission, and uh, Dragon Ruse was able to tell me, okay, that you're going to be looking for this thing. So I knew right where to take it once I finally dealt with all the enemies. Again, me just not being familiar enough with these objectives to know whether or not I could safe for me to run, but apparently it was. So let's get the hell out of here. It's time for extraction. Oh. Enemies. That guy's on a machine gun turret. He's going to have to go. And two hulks. Fuck. Alright. Let's keep an eye on them. Get rid of this guy. Oh, there we go. Think invisible thoughts. Uh oh. Oh, this is going to heat up really quickly. That is a lot of bad guys. Right, we got to move. We got to move. There we go. Oh, that, that's no good. Stim. So my initial plan here was to try and jump across the water, but I thought the leap was going to be too long and my jump pack was down. So I, I was like, maybe I can run across it, maybe it's shallow, which it wasn't. And then I realized, fuck it, if I die, I can just direct my hell pod to the other side of the water because everything else is already ready for me to call in again anyway. And this ended up streamlining my path to extraction. Drop me right next to it. And once I make sure it's clear, I'll call in my stuff and call extraction down. All right, extraction's on the way. And the, the booster that I brought is that new one that came with the democratic detonation that uh, reduces the amount of time you have to wait for extraction. That thing is pretty cool. There we go. So instead of waiting the full three minutes, I'm waiting two and a half minutes. Now I'm going to sit up here on my rock and not pick a fight with anything unless it picks a fight with me first. Oh, all right. Just some roamers, nothing to worry about. And this is actually a funny part coming up. Because they're going to take a big interest in the beacon there. And wait for it. They we're going to close. Now just keep an eye on that, that um, rocketeer guy down there. I didn't know they could shoot each other. And now it looks like he's pissed off. And he's like, screw it guys, I'm going home. Because he takes off. So there we go. Here's where I started to get really worried, because that's a tank rolling in, and that's problematic. My auto cannon can drop the, the smaller guys relatively quickly, especially when combined with the eruptor. Oh, and now everything knows where I am, out of nowhere. Go figure. I fucking hate the bots, it's ridiculous. These were bugs, I could have bile titans walking around here and I'd be fine. But bots, for some inexplicable reason, have 
ridiculous awareness. Drop ship. Let's get it. Let's get it. Go, 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 go. Go. There we go. Yes. Didn't get the tank with that, though. It's still down there, so we got to keep an eye on that. I'm still just going to try and keep my head down. I mean, it all. everybody knows where I am now, but nothing can actually hit me, so I'm safe for now. There's my dropship. All right, and there we go. We did it, guys. We did it. First solo hell dive against the automatons. And really, I mean, I got lucky because if there had been any airships on the field, I'd have been screwed. I, mean, I fucking hate the airships. It's ridiculous. In either case, there we go. First solo hell dive against the automatons is down. So I'll probably do another one at some point. Um, once I get a better hand on the objectives that are specific to the bots get a better hand on how to not start crying when a fucking airship shows up because god i fucking hate them but whatever the case that's going to be a video for another day so until then thanks for watching